It is 7.15. <gasps> Finally, we're here. <gasps> yeah. I can't stand it any longer. Here we go. Since Meg can't stand <sighs> it, we're going to get right to it. Now, last week, if you were listening to the show, you heard us talking about love all last week. We talked about pickup lines, the difference between love and lust, long-distance relationships. Yes. Oh. It's crazy people still do those. <sighs> Basically, every single kind of love. Well, okay, there's a method to our madness. There's, there's a reason that we've been talking about love. We've been talking about relationships for the last couple of weeks. And there's also a reason you've been hearing wedding bells every time you turn on the radio. <laughs> All right, well... Let's look at us here, the Freeway and Meg Morning Show. Sure. We've got a big team, and the three of us are in very different situations. All right, I'll go first. Me. I was married for five years. Kind of, okay, like Eric lived in New York, and I lived in Toronto, and we met. We started dating, and everything was great. And we got married, and everything was really good. You know, it was how it should be, I guess. And then I think over time, we just realized, eh. I think we make better friends. So, kind of like you and I. <laughs> not unlike you and I, Frank. Um, and so, what day is today? September 15th. Oh my God, you guys, my divorce papers uh, could be in my mailbox today. Oh, congratulations, <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. Yeah. All right, Canada Post. Thank you, I think. I think. Yep. I think well, uh, I came out on the air a year ago. I know now. you did. That was a really hard decision to make, but a really good one in the long run. You guys have been so supportive, friends, family, all of that. And it's really allowed me to be myself. Yeah. But it's still hard. To meet people. It's totally hard. Right, you know? Tough. It's tough for anyone. And I, Freeway, been a bachelor all my life. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. we know. Till my girlfriend moved in, which doesn't make me a bachelor Stop anymore, it. I guess. <laughs> and uh, my girlfriend, who, by the way, not too many people know this, but we met on MySpace. I don't think I knew that. No, I didn't yeah, so that. basically That's I saw cool. a picture of her late were, at night when I was... Shopping for a girlfriend? <laughs> I, was, I was shopping for a mail-order bride, whatever. Stop that. But uh, no, I was on and I saw her picture, got excited, sent her an email. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I know when Eric and I first got together, obviously, you know, we dated and did the whole step-by-step -step thing. It's, but you saw him, you know, oh, you knew what sure. he, he yeah. looked like. He was American, I was Canadian, but yeah, definitely, we had time together, yeah. And Ian, same thing when it comes to you, like, you're out there, you're meeting people, obviously, you get to hang out with them, you see them, and you know them, right? Well, yeah, you I mean, you need that initial spark, I think, you need something to yeah. make it special, and then you take the time, and it's, like you said, Meg, it's a step-by-step -step process, process. for sure. Hey, well, uh, that got us thinking. Okay. And you know what happens when we start thinking. Oh, yes, <laughs> do we ever. Good things. Okay. <laughs> What if love were blind? I think about that for a second. What if you could meet someone, fall in love, and get married oh my God. just, just by hearing their voice on the radio? Okay. Okay. Don't worry, Meg, Aww. it's not you. <laughs> we established uh, Tyler called last hour, said, Frank, you're getting married. It's, it's not, not me. It's not Ian. It's not me and Ian. It's not Ian and Carlos. It's, it's a co none of those combos. Yeah. All right. Well, let's, let's explain how this is all going to work. Okay. Mark this down on your calendar. October 30th, 2008. Mm -hmm. Two strangers will meet face-to-face for the very, very first time ever. Not only will they be meeting for the very first time face to face, but uh, they'll be getting married. On this show. On October 30th. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> All right, look. This is insanity. Here's the thing. A lot of things running through your mind right now. This is not a radio contest. Mm -mm. We want you to know that. Mm -mm. Not a radio contest. This is a social experiment between two people who want to find true love. Within the next two weeks, we're going to find a bride. Then, with the help of the bride, we will find the groom. Now, they will only speak through us on the radio. Never once do they get to look each other in in the eye, face to face, you and me, until <laughs> oh. the wedding day. Where they will meet oh. for the very, very <laughs> first <laughs> time. Now, here's the Gosh. thing. We're going to get a wedding plan. Yes. All right. A panel of experts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Energy is devoting 100% of our resources to bringing two people together 
For real. Yeah, th- real. This is a real wedding. I mean, look at everything you have at a wedding. You have your family. You have your friends. You have the dress. You have cake. You have flowers. You've got the photographer. A flower girl. You've got the bachelor and party. There you go. Which I'll be organizing. The rings. <laughs> I mean, this is no real. It does not get any more real than this. Okay, now. Now that we've said this, do you believe you are one of those two people? Are you... Looking to find true love. Do you know someone who is looking for true love? If you do, here's what's going to happen, okay? First, you need to go to our website, energy1015.com. You need to look for the link and you need to register. Obviously, you can call us. one 467 1015 toll-free call. Absolutely, because we definitely are going to want to <laughs> talk to you. You can also send us a text. Send us a text. Anytime, 101, 101, 50 cents per text. (laughs) Believe us when we tell you that this is only the beginning. Two strangers and a wedding. Nice to meet you. I do. Energy 1015's Two Strangers and a Wedding. Call 1-866-467-1015 and let us know what you think of this ultimate blind date to find a soulmate. Savage Garden. I knew I loved you before I met you.